Hi, I am Lathea on Xena Online Community and Nacy or Napalm Nacy or Nacy Girl on various other social networking platforms across the internet. And I am going to teach you how to use Palace Chat software. There are a lot of visual chat programs out there. Most of them are 3D. One's even isometric. The big 3D programs are really popular, but they have some drawbacks. They take up a lot of hard drive space. It's hard or pricey to customise the avatars. And they put huge demands on your computer's memory. Not everyone has excellent video cards, and we're not all hardcore gamers. Palace Chat, being over 10 years old, circumvents the nasty memory and space problem. Most people should be able to run it without any difficulties whatsoever. It's basically a visual, two-dimensional version of IRC chat. If there was a missing link between text chats and 3D avatar chats, this would be it. There are three software options open to netizens at this moment in time. The Palace. It's a great piece of software, allows for custom room sizes and 32k avatars, but it'll cost you 20 bucks to register. If you don't mind shelling out for that, go for it. Phalanx Chat. It's just as good as the Palace, except the room size is limited. It's free, and the software has a lot of nifty skins you can choose from. I like pink. The downside to the above two is that neither of them run the Palace's original coding language, if it's great. If you want to get hardcore with your Palace chatting and your scripts and bots, then you're going to have to get Spartan. No, not that sort of Spartan. I'm talking old software. You can still download the original Palace software at thepalace.com. To get it really working, you're going to have to register the software there too. It costs nothing and grants you full access to the features of the Palace. I use Phalanx in the original Palace. Mac users can't use Phalanx, but if you want to go modern, you can use the Palace. This tutorial deals with original Palace and Phalanx. If you need help with the Palace, feel free to email me or message me and I'll get you started. Okay, so how the hell do you connect? When getting the info for a palace, you usually get the following information. Server and the port. Xena Warrior Palace's chat server is xena.epalaces.com and the port is 9998. Pop that into the box that comes up after you go to file, connect to a server or connect to a palace. It's labelled clearly. Click connect. Et voila. You're connected. With any luck, you'll be at the Xena server. Now to make your way around the place. Big tip, do not drag and drop. This isn't a desktop. It's more like a point and click adventure game. If you want to know where the doors are, click on the door icon in your software. Then you can see the outlines. If you want to try your luck and explore, keep them off. Just point, click and wait for the room to load. Of course, if you do get lost, you can always bring up the room list. In Palace, just click Options, then Go to Room. Or press Ctrl G. In Phalanx, just click the nifty little button above your text input saying Room List. There's a full list there of all the rooms in Xena Palace. Have a look around. Once you have navigation down pat, it's time to stuff around with the features. You'll notice a button with a palette on the side in the old palace and a piece of paper and a pencil to the bottom left in Phalanx. Click it. You'll get a palette. This is the whiteboard option. Experiment with this feature. Each different piece of software has different options. Notice the speaker button. This is in both pieces of software. These are the sounds you can play while chatting with others. If you go to the Xena Palace community, you can download a special pack of sounds that are all short, sweet and ideal for chatting. Both Palace and Phalanx have a media file in the program's root directory. Go to that file, then to the sound folder within it. Pop all the sounds from the Xena Sound Zip file in there. Next time you start up the palace, you'll be able to use those sounds. Phalanx Chat has the added convenience of being able to control whether the sounds are being played or not. That's handy if someone clicks a long one. Of course, if you hate sounds, you can always disable them in the option menus. So, how do you make an avatar? Well, it's not that hard. Both programs have a prop bag. Just click on the suitcase button to the left of your typing field. The standard image depth for avatars is 231 colours. Each prop or section is 8 bits. You can make higher quality props with the newer programs, but if anyone's surfing the palace with the original software, it'll look like this. Yeah, not a good look. 
Your props are drag and drop, so be careful when you're navigating or you'll lose bits of yourself. It's okay. If you discard a piece, you won't lose it from a pop file, unless you haven't saved it. Xena Warrior Palace has a range of prop rooms. All you have to do to get an avatar there is click the next button, and when you see an av you like, save the pieces. In Palace, you click Save with the prop bag window. In Phalanx, you right click and select Save Avatar Pieces. Making your own avatar pieces is easy. There's a handy tutorial at palacetools.com. Make sure you bookmark that place, it's really handy. And that's all there is to it. If you want to find out session times, just head on over to the uh, Xena online community over at yuku.com or you can go to our community site over at LiveJournal, which is community.livejournal.com forward slash Xena underscore palace. Uh, we're on fairly frequently and you can find either me or Fiona, who's Eris K or one of our friendly mods there usually at most times but we usually are on at the weekends so we hope to see you at Xena Palace Chat